Welcome to our lecture online. Here we're going to review center of mass, which essentially is the same as center of gravity. It's the point of the object where all the mass appears to be concentrated on, so when gravity acts upon an object, it appears to be acting at that point, at that center mass, which therefore is also called center of gravity. Now, of course, if there's no gravity, then there's no such thing as center of gravity when you're way out in space, but that's another thing. So, it's also considered the point where the object can be balanced. So we have an object of an odd shape. You can put your finger right there and balance the object right when your finger is right below the center of mass. Also, when you throw an object through the air and it goes gyrating around as you throw it, the center mass of the object will form a nice parabolic path as if you were throwing a rock, even though the thing could be gyrating all kinds of directions. And finally, let's say you have an object and you suspend it on one corner and you draw a line straight down, and then you spin another corner, you draw a line straight down, then where the two lines cross, that will be the point of the center of mass. So now we know what the center mass is. Now you probably want to know how to calculate the center mass. And so for that, we have another video waiting for you coming up that shows you how to actually calculate the center mass of an object.